Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Evergreen Arts and Crafts. In today's video tutorial, I am going to teach you how can you make this butterfly. For the one, the blue one, I have used a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook and three ply yarn, like three ply fine yarn. And the bigger one, for the bigger one, I have used size 4 millimeter crochet hook and a 4 ply acrylic yarn. So it's totally up to you which one do you prefer the most, the smaller one or the bigger one. In my previous video, I have already shown the mini ones. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to uh, mention in the caption box down below. So the size difference is really, really, very huge and both are made with the same pattern. The blue one is made with the 2.5 millimeter, while the pink one has been made with the 4 millimeter crochet hooks. That was just a difference between these two butterflies. Other than that, there is no difference of pattern into it at all. So it's totally depend on you which one you wanted to make. And if you make, don't forget to tell uh, tell me, okay? So I'm using size 2.5 millimeter crochet hook and I'm taking a three ply Nako yarn. This is a baby bliss or I don't know what was the name. So I am doing a magic ring. If you wanted to make a chain, make a chain of six. So I'm making a magic ring, I'm comfortable with it. And then just make a chain one to knot. And now for round one, we are going to chain three. And this chain three will count as your first double crochet. Yarn over and do two more double crochets into the ring. This is for the advanced versions. If you are basic or beginners, please learn the basic crochet stitches so it will be easy for you to understand. After making these, chain one, two, three, and four. After making four chains, we are going to make three more double crochets. Uh, as you have seen that we have made a three chains in the first, which will count as your first double crochet. So after that, there will be three. So three more double crochets. And then again, we are going to make chain four. One, two, three, and four. And yarn over and do three again double crochets so make sure you keep doing it until you have seven spaces of chain four keep doing chain four three double crochet chain four three double crochet so you must have a eight uh, sorry seven spaces of three double crochet all the way around okay so my i have all here you can see i have seven different spaces over here of a chain four and now we are going to make the eighth space so once you're done with your seven one do again three half three double crochets and then you're going to do is chain four one two three and four after making four chains you have to do slip stitch at the very top of your chain which is the third chain from the loop from the hook so there is your ch third chain yarn over pull through and do a slip stitch and then you're going to chain up one if you are making with a single color you can continue i am making in a twin color so i am going to cut my yarn and pull it through and this is what your first after first round your piece will looks like now take your yarn attach anywhere anywhere into this chain space so inside your chain space and then you're going to do is pull the yarn through this chain space and through the loop in your hook like that and bring it to the side and now we're going to start round two so now what we have to do is we are going to do is chain three again this will count as your one double crochet so chain three and do two double crochets four more double crochets and chain three will be count as your fifth one so you have to make five but first you have to count chain three as your first double crochet and then i'm making four more double crochets here after making four double crochets, we are going to do chain one, two, three, four, 
5. After 5 chains, do 5 more double crochets into the same space you made the previous 5 double crochets. And then just make a space for your more double crochets into it. 3, 4, <clears throat> 5. After making 5 double crochets, you are going to do all the way around. Yarn over and jump to the next chain space and do 5 double crochet, chain 5, 5 double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then you have to do this all the way around till you get back to the starting point. So this is what your works will looks like. Doesn't look like a butterfly, but it's okay. Have faith in the process. And then at the end, you're going to join with your very third chain in the first starting stitch, chain up and fasten off your yarn. And this is what your work will look like right now. And then I'm going to attach blue again. So I'm making a knot, insert your hook in and then start any way you like. Just get into this chain five space and pull the yarn through and do a slip stitch and now we're going to make a space and set to the corner and now you have to do is chain three which will count as your first double crochet one two three and into this space I'm going to do eight double crochet so chain three will be count as your first one and the total are going to be nine double crochets so it's two three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And after making eight of these, I'm going to first cut down that shorter loop at the back. <clears throat> and after making this you're going to chain one two and into the same space we are going to make nine more double crochets one two three four five six seven eight and nine after making nine double crochets there is a space in between here you can see this space right here insert your hook in grab your yarn pull it through and pull through the one you have in the loop so basically I am doing is a single crochet like that and you have to do this all the way around not all the way around, sorry. We are going to make the first pattern like that and we are going to do the second pattern like that. And then I'm going to teach you what you have to do next. So here you can see I have made the exactly same pattern, the next one. And here into this space we are going to do is a single crochet. And now into the next chain space, we are not going to follow the same pattern as I have did because I am going to make a, a little pointed end with the peacock stitch. So I'm going to do is one, two, three, four, five, and six. After making six of your double crochets, we are going to make a peacock stitch and this is really simple. All you have to do is you're going to chain three, one, two and three. And there you can see there are the top, at your very last stitch there are the top two loops here. Insert your hook in and the, then you're going to grab your yarn, pull it through and pull it through the one you have on your hook. So it's okay. There was a thread in there. There are the two loops. Insert your hook into the loops. 
yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the one you have on your hook. And then you can get a little bit of like a, you know, a point, pointed wing. And do a six more double crochets. And into the next leaf, you're going to repeat this same pattern. If you don't want to make the peacock stitch or a pointed ones, you can just go ahead and do the nine double crochet, chain two, nine double crochet all the way around in between like a single crochet. So here I have done my six single crochet, six double crochet into space right here, do a single crochet. And again, you have to repeat this same pattern, six double crochet, speak or stitch, six double crochet into your very next petal like that. And now we are going to repeat these two petals again into the next chain, which is going to be nine double crochet, chain two, nine double crochets into the next two petals next to uh, chain spaces not petals I'm sorry I'm saying petals again and again so into the next uh, two of the chain spaces you have to repeat the very first stitch uh, uh, very first ones which we have repeated so I am going to complete this and uh, into the very last stitch, uh, sorry very last chain space we are going to make the peacock ones so I'm going to repeat these two petals, nine double crochet, chain two, nine double crochet into the next two, and then the peacock into the last two. I hope you have understand it because um, this is what it is. So here I have done again. These two were the nine double crochet, chain two, then the peacock stitch ones. Then again, nine double crochet, chain two, nine double crochets here like that. And now into the very last Two chain spaces we have to repeat these peacock stitches right here into the very last two so I hope now how I've explained it well so it's six double crochet peacock stitch six double crochet exactly the same into the next chain spaces last two chain spaces so this is what it looks like at the end and this is what you will get so nine double crochet, chain two, nine double crochet, then the peacock petals, then the nine double crochet one, and then the peacock ones. At the end, you're going to do a single crochet to your last space right there. And then to your starting point where we did a three chains at the top of your first third chain, insert your hook and do a slip stitch. And now you're going to fasten off all the tails one by one. And when you're going to bend this over, you can see this is what it looks like. And the peacock stitch will face the peacock petal stitch and the nine double crochet will face the nine double crochet one. And you can shift it if you wanted the peacock ones at the top or at the bottom. It's up to you. I like it this way. And then I'm going to go on and sew all the tails. You can go ahead and glue this and add in the center of your butterfly a clip or whatever you like. You can add it to a blanket or whatever. I'm going to shut the center but not too much. I have to make sure there is a little bit of space in between the circle. So this is it. I have sewn all the tails. And now we are going to do is I have already did a chain over here of 20 chains if you think 20 are more than enough you can cut down the chains as per your likings and then I'm going to insert the hook into the very first chain and then I am going to just take the yarn out make a chain and fasten off if you like uh, the other mat uh, method which I have uh, showed you in my previous video of the little one butterfly you can do the same with this one okay but this is the other method so it's totally depend and i know my english is really very weak so sometimes i don't know why my tongue twists when i speak english because it's not my language so this is it i've cut down the <laughs> uh, really really short tail to the pointed 
part of the butterfly and i hope you have enjoyed today's video tutorial thank you so much for your love and support uh, especially when i cannot speak proper english but you guys supported me really very well thank you so much everyone if you wanted to learn anything else just go ahead and comment me on the comment box down below if you wanted to make the larger one or the smaller one the pattern will be same exact same so take care um and enjoy have a good time have a good day bye bye everyone love you love you love you love you